We're in the largest dome stadium in New England. It's the Carrier Dome on the campus of Syracuse University. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Brought down around the 46 yard line. Number 31 with the tackle at the 46 yard line. That'll make it 31. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Jackson picks up a yard on the play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. That's a great use of the option on fourth down as it gives them just enough to keep this drive alive. throw and down he goes to 37 yard line and this play is number eight on the drive and they get nice yardage on that run so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone first down 10 yards to go all on the 33 Quick strike to the receiver. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Get to that quickly. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the four. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. Again, it's the receiver who makes the catch. If there was any doubt as to who was going to be getting the ball before, then there definitely isn't any right now. Touchdown, Duke! job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. The score now, 7-0. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. 
The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. They'll run it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Blackwell is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Duke up seven points. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. First down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Fires quickly and he's got his man. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 7 0, Blue Devil. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Hubbard is waiting for the snap. at the 21. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Got a man. Watch out here. He's at the 20. 
tackle at the 11. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Check, Yo, check. It's four, two, four, go. Up the middle for a nice game. Jordan gains about five yards on the run. Gets out to about the six-yard line. Carries it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. Call a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Duke is up by four. He takes it right side for a good game. That'll make it second and four. From their own 31-yard line. It's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. Caught open field. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 49. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Game of seven on the play. First down. From the 41-yard line. First down. He throws a dart to the left. That makes it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Duke is up four. Caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 16-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they got it. The quarterback came out of nowhere. I don't even think the quarterback knew he was blitzing. Tenth play of the drive. Nice play to set up first and goal. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. 
That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. They're at the seven. Second down. Throws out and through his hands. And this is the 13th play of this drive. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Hands has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Johnson fields it at the two. Brought down at the 27. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Handed off. He makes it to the 28 yard line. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. The Blue Devils with a touchdown lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being, and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by, like, a, a soccer player, please. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Johnson from the four. He's tackled at the 30. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40. Gets to around the 42. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He might have a chance. And he tackles him hard at the 48. They come out in a five-wide set. Here's the give. He's at the 40. And he's tackled in the open field. He 
He's in trouble. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. that makes it second and ten. From the 33-yard line. Second down. Good pass. Man open, and he dropped it. Throws this one out to the left. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. under pressure broke away from one and he's gonna run this one in touchdown when you're that close to the end zone it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone here's the PAT to tie this thing up and he adds the extra point so an eight-play, 70-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Syracuse gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Catches it, and he's punished. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Gets out to about the 31. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Williams is back awaiting the punt. <laughs> They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they make the stop at the 39-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. the 42. Looks to him again, complete, and he's tackled at the 17. It 
shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 64-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown. Play. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Caught, and he's hit immediately. It's second and eight. Ball on the 22. a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Number 15 comes in quarterback. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And he is drilled at the 29. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. There really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. They'll bring him down at the 31. A yard, maybe two on the carry. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. It and he might go the distance. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's finally shoved out at the 9. That's a team of 60 on the play. That makes it first and goal. A touchdown away from a tie. Roger, Roger. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. And this play is number eight on the drive. That's a great tackle at the 23. So they're going to go for it here. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 17-10, Orange. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Throwing right. It's picked off. It's the junior. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. From their own eight-yard line, it's first down. Syracuse is up seven. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at the 14. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. Check, go, here we check. Go, here we go. 
And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. No two times, two times. Third down. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Blackwell back deep to return. Blackwell fields it at the 48. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Now here comes the offense. And you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He goes downtown. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From the 42-yard line, second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Tipped away. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat. He's scrambling. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Flips it. Middle to the running back. Tackle at the 27-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for the game. That'll be number 36. Quick throw. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. Try and scramble. And they make the stop at about the 41. Makes it out to about the 33. The defense puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Half 
backs got it on the quick throw. And they push him out at the 29-yard line. Tucker gains four yards on that reception. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. He steps out around the 24-yard line. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no-huddle attack. This is the ninth play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Black ball! On the ground, up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point so he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Second down and 12. Ball on the 21-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And this one's final. We had a tight defensive-minded game today. Scoring was at a premium. 17-10, orange. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.